Hello, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Final Fantasy XIV. Last episode, we left off after uh, completing our Conjurer's quest for uh, level 20 and teaching Sylvie a few uh, basics now that she's uh, ready to learn a bit uh, less stubbornly. So uh, now we're going to continue with the main story quest, uh, which was beginning with Mune. So we'll uh, get that started right now. And uh, we have our timer ready to go this episode, so we should actually uh, get a full length one, unlike last time. So uh, let's get the show on the road. Take a seat wherever you like, friend. Our waitress will come to take your... Oh, it's you, Elric. It is so good to see you again. What's that? You're a bad run suggestion, you say? The foul-mouthed rogue sends me word that an adventurer might be along for the job, and it turns out to be you. Well, this makes things a lot easier, doesn't it? With regard to the task in question, there's a fair bit to tell. Let me know when you're ready to hear the details and I shall brief you. Okie doke, uh, we'll take uh, Aoife this time off. Oh no, we'll get both of them. <laughs> ready for that briefing? Good. Now then, here's the long and short of it. Beg pardons for interrupting me, Yoon, but our need grows ever more pressing. I've not stepped forward. And good morrow to you too, poor lord. Your need must be pressing indeed for you to honour us with a visit. The good news is, your journey hasn't been wasted. I'm pleased to report that we have a volunteer at last, and one who comes highly recommended at that. Well, if it isn't our very own man for all seasons, you certainly have a knack for appearing when you're most needed, Elric. My thanks for answering the call. Now time is of the essence, so I shall proceed directly to the heart of the matter. We wish for you to nip a potential threat to Gridania in the bud. Beneath the central shroud, there lies an underground burial site called the Tam Tara Deepcroft. The place was once a Gelmoran settlement, but we Gridanians have long interred our dead there. Of late, however, shadowy figures have been skulking about the Deepcroft and with ever increasing regularity. Based on the accounts of various witnesses, we suspect that these individuals belong to the Lambs of Dalamud, a doomsday cult which sprang up prior to the Calamity. These zealots have proven themselves dangerous in the past, and we leave them to their own devices at our peril. Ordinarily, I would have dispatched my best men to scour the Deepcroft with orders to flush the cultists out. Alas, the calamity decimated our ranks, and the limited forces at my disposal are constantly required to keep the exile at bay. Since we fought their attack on the Guardian Tree, the Birdmen have not allowed us a moment's respite. They have probed every ilm of our defences in search of a weakness, compelling me to spread our forces far more thinly than I would like. The situation so being, we have no choice but to entrust the task of dealing with the Lambs of Dalmud to others. Can we rely on you to handle this matter, Elric? Yep, you can. You have my gratitude. Once you've seen your preparations, pray make your way to the Deepcroft and identify yourself to the guard post at the entrance. He will apprise you of the latest developments. That is all. Be careful out there, you hear? May the crystal guide you and keep you. Right. Uh, let's have a look at our journey. Where is this taking part? The entrance to the Tam Tower Deep Croft is in uh, Central Shroud. Now, if I remember correctly, the Tam Tower Deep Croft is a dungeon, so I wonder if this is going to set me straight into another dungeon uh, right after the last one, or if there's going to be a little bit of build up to it. <laughs> let's find out. Right, uh, two hours south, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Just hop over here. Oh, getting ourselves very stuck here. <laughs> and to the south here. Oh, no, that's not south. This is south. <laughs> Again, I think we might uh, cut this bit out as uh, it's going to be quite a long walk to get there. <laughs> Right, and here we are coming up on the uh, Tamtara Deepcroft. Just uh, get this guy out of our way before we continue on. And while I remember from uh, the dungeon we did the uh, other episode, I forgot to equip the gear that I uh, probably won from it, so uh, a few bits and bobs there, so we'll just uh, whip that best stuff going. 
Yeah, that hat's a little bit better. Doesn't look quite as silly as the last one, in my opinion, but, uh, yeah, we'll live. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can avoid pulling those guys. Uh, I think we're safe, yeah. Oh, and this is the location for the, uh, for the Hall of the Novice uh, Smith. Uh, they'll also give you some uh, pre-quests. But of course, we did ours in uh, Limsa Limsa for a different class. It would be in this area, I believe. You're Elric Fandrell, I take it. Thanks for helping us out, friend. No doubt the Bow Lord has already informed you, but your task is to enter the Deep Croft and purge it of the Lambs of Dalamud. In case you're unfamiliar with them, the cult emerged shortly before the Calamity put an end to the Sixth Astral Era. The cultists took the Lesser Moon Dalamud for their god, believing that it would deliver them from the devastation. And so they were rather disappointed when Dalamud exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. Now having seen their god turn to ash, one would think that the cultists might feel moved to question their faith. On the contrary, it served only to stoke the flames of their fanaticism. The Lambs of Dalmud are convinced that heretics, that is to say everyone but them, interfered with the coming of their lord and saviour, and that it's now their sacred duty to avenge him. Whatever it is they're doing in the Deepcroft, you may be sure that no good will come of it, for the sake of Gridania and Eorzea at large, put an end to their madness. Okay, we certainly can do. Tam Tower Deepcroft is now accessible, so uh, I think, yeah, we're probably going to be... Wait, speak with the... Oh, wait, that was the objective for complete. Use the duty finder. We're just going to do it this way. Duty roulette. Uh, be assigned a random duty from uh, all the stuff that you've selected and that you've unlocked. Uh, if you're an adventurer and need, like, a healer or tanks always tend to be in need, then you'll get a little bit of a bonus. Uh, very rather deep, yes, gets needed, but uh, we'll see what the case is if we were to put that on. Do you need healers at the moment? But uh, we don't want them random because obviously we've got to do our uh, quest in the Tam Tara Deepcroft. So we'll just deselect Sastasha, select Tam Tara Deepcroft, and join. And of course, instant cues being a healer. <laughs> And somebody's still watching the cutscene there, you see. So they must have had a longer load screen if their cutscene lasted a little bit longer than mine. <laughs> still the same cutscene, but uh, obviously if you've got a lower end uh, system, just uh, increase load time. <laughs> right, and this time, let's try to remember to actually keep people healed instead of get distracted by tutorial messages like the last time. <laughs> Yeah, and this uh, tank looks like he's going to be doing things uh, rather quickly. <laughs> Let's have a look at the search info. Uh, yeah, he's got a lot of classes, uh, quite high level, so he's very experienced, and uh, we've well, done this any amount of times before I expect. So, uh, yeah, you tend to get that a lot of the time with more experienced people, just want to rush through it, which is understandable. I mean, this content uh, at the moment is uh, about seven years old, I believe. <laughs> Let's uh, not attack that anymore, seeing as he's uh, not stopping to take it out just yet. Yeah, you see, he's really uh, got a uh, got a passion for moving forward quick. <laughs> Gonna have to spam the heels here to keep them up, it seems. <laughs> right, on we go. Further into the dungeon. Oh, and it looks like there's a boss room up ahead. So just uh, focus on getting these imps taken care of. And up oh, the oh, that's the main guy. I was going to say was the uh, priest or whatever he was, cultist uh, gone. 
Alright, he's taking quite a bit of damage, this uh, boss. <laughs> oh well. There we go, he's nearly dead now. And then these uh, beams connecting up to that big purple orb in the centre there. I believe uh, these blue beams will have to disable all of them. As you can see, there's another one further down there. And uh, a couple more at the other side of the uh, room. And that'll uh, enable us access to the boss. Yeah, this guy really wants to speed through this. <laughs> These mobs are taking quite some time to go down. Oh, uh, but the tank certainly isn't taking time to go down. <laughs> right, let's get him topped up again. And there he is, nice and full. And on to the next pack, I believe it's on the right. Yep. Tank seems to know where he's going. <laughs> Nothing particularly interesting in here, I don't think. Oh, there's a treasure coffer. Although I've got a feeling with being a non-boss uh, chest that it's actually uh, got nothing in but potions and such like. I'm just going to quick... Oh no, it did. It had some uh, pants in, but not for my uh, class. <laughs> and there's the tank back to full health again. And keep moving on our way. And the uh, another mini-boss. Yeah, it was a priest. <laughs> Right, uh, not much further to go. Get rid of these priests. Oh, and there's the, uh, the Void Soul Counter. So is the priest transforming in one, do you think? Or is that uh, something that the priest is summoning? <laughs> oh, not keeping an eye on the tank's health. Let's get him topped off really quickly. <laughs> Getting too carried away with my uh, damage. <laughs> Right, that's him dealt with. Uh, get that chest opened up. Uh, can't use that, that's uh, melee. Can probably use those bracelets though. Uh, need. Oh, and it looks like we won those. Uh, can we equip those straight away? Oh, uh, it's not saying that they're recommended for some reason. Or is that because they just haven't quite appeared in my, uh, in my bags yet? <laughs> Oh boy, uh, he's taking a lot of damage all of a sudden with so many mobs on him. <laughs> uh, keep those heals spammed out. Let's run a few errors while I've got a spare second or two. Uh, Man, yeah, shouldn't really be doing this in the middle of combat, but yeah, it looks like those uh, pink bracelets, if we did win them, were uh, not being suggested them as an upgrade. Uh, yeah, there they are, there. Uh, in comparison. Uh, vitality, intelligence, mind, critical hit. Vitality 1, Vitality 1, Intelligence 1, Mind 1, Critical, Arctic. Yeah, I guess they're not that much of an upgrade, are they, really? That's uh, a little bit disappointing. The level 1 ones seem ridiculously good for what they are. <laughs> right. And there's the tank again, in need of heals. <laughs> And here we are back again with uh, the next boss, mini boss. Oh wait, no it's not, not quite yet. It's around the corner after these trash bobs I believe. <laughs> That's where the final boss leads up to behind this barrier. But uh, we've got to disable one or two more of those beams first. on him before he drops. <laughs> and the uh, coldest rosary. I'll get that for everybody. There we go. Right, 
and uh, back the way we came very briefly for uh, for the main access to the boss should be unlocked now or at least the mini boss <laughs> there we go and then the last two beams here so just need to finish these off oh he's going to try and take both of them at once <laughs> Shouldn't really surprise me after uh, after the way they speed speeding through this dungeon. <laughs> Just hope it doesn't backfire on us. <laughs> right, and the boys are kind of, Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> I've got a brief moment. I think I'm going to activate. Oh, can't um, can't uh, activate that until the mini boss is dead. I guess. <laughs> right, he's got that one, and I'll get this one. Just to check. Oh no, there's a cutscene coming up. <laughs> Who summons me from the void to reside within this crude vessel? You seem surprised, did you not cross them? Come hither, children of the dawn, the Undying Master will drink deep. Wait, is he still in a... no, he's not still in a cutscene, he's just uh, AFK it seems. Uh... I don't know if that's an upgrade for me or not, is it? Uh, right on here. No, it looks like exactly the same one as I've already got. Um, I guess I'll read it. Now, if I recall correctly, this guy summons uh, little imps at the sides there. Yeah, those guys. They need to be taken care of by the DPS pretty quickly to uh, interrupt that beam that he gets. I think it makes him immune to damage or makes him a lot, uh, take a lot less damage. Nope, get my heels out. And stop focusing on damage so much. <laughs> right. Let's see. Not sure what that's doing for him, but uh, yeah, the trash needs uh, taken care of pretty quick, if I recall. Does he give us any clues to what's happening? Uh, not really, and the beam's already gone, so we couldn't check the boss himself. They're trying to find the status effect that explains uh, what that's actually doing. <laughs> nope, don't want to be standing that. Nope, and there's two of them this time. Uh, I think it's normally only one, as far as I recall, but apparently uh, two this time. <laughs> right, almost done. Right, uh, player commendation. Uh, give it to the tank. Oh, nope, can't. He's already left. Oh, well, the archer gets it. <laughs> That'll happen a lot of times. I uh, can't need that, and I can't need that, so greed and greed. And uh, just hit the exit. I think there's a cutscene at the end of this dungeon. I'm not 100% sure. Nope, nope, apparently not. Uh, so we need to go back to Mew to hand this in. So uh, we'll just use our return spell back to Gridania. And on our left, getting a little bit disorientated there. <laughs> Get a sprint going on. And uh, we should be there pretty soon. Alright, here we are. Welcome back, Elric. I'm reliably informed that your foray into the Deep Croft was a success. Nor did I expect anything less. You've made such a habit of succeeding that it is difficult not to take your talents for granted. Rest assured, however, Mother is impressed, even if she isn't surprised. Poor Lord Loon asked me to pass on his thanks. 
I must say, it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has become an ever more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions, and we are hard pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for such able souls such as yourself, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves. With predictable consequences. Ah, as if to illustrate the point. Avia's gone and it's all your fault. If it hadn't taken you an age to heal him, he would still be alive. But, but I tried. He pulled it out of range before he could finish the spell. Uh, he shouldn't have been so hard pressed in the first place. He should have done more to lighten his burden. Bah, to hells with this pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving and it'd be too soon if I never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. I only suffered you for your healing, but you couldn't even do that one thing right. True though this may sound, you brought this upon yourself. Oh, and by way of some parting advice, get rid of Avia's head. Bury it, cremate it, do whatever the hells you like with it, but for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's... it's just... just get rid of it, alright? <laughs> okay, carrying around uh, Avia's head with him. <laughs> w wait, don't leave me alone, please. I'm so sorry of you. Please forgive me. Scenes like this have become all too common. That makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventurers of your experience. I can send men like you on a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. About a bell ago, I received a message from my counterpart in Uldar. She seeks the services of a reliable adventurer and you are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word and I will be glad to share the details with you. Alright, uh, complete that. Um, let's have a quick word with her. Uh, so you're not averse to taking a little trip. Wonderful. As I mentioned earlier, the request comes to us from the Adventurers Guild in Uldar. Once you arrive, seek out Momodi, the proprietress of the Quicksand. Think of her as the Sultanate's version of myself. Chances are she'll send you into the midst of danger, but I have every confidence that you will pull through unscathed. Now off you go Elric, and good luck. Alright, so we'll uh, head off to Uldar. Uh, where's the stairs? There they are. To the airship landing. And uh, once we get there, we'll uh, have a word with uh, the person and prepare for the next episode, I think. Purchase passage to Uldar. Just uh, nip through here. Uh, left attendant, the ruby. No, is it the husting strip? I think. Right. Oh, have we gone to the wrong. Yes, we have. God damn it. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Hopefully, we've got enough that can crystal uh, connect us to the correct location, but we didn't unlock many of them before. Goldsmith's, um, I don't think that's particularly close either, but we'll give it a look. Uh, right, it's a little bit closer, but not drastically so. Uh, might as well pick up the Chocobo uh, flight path uh, registration. Right, that's him registered. And the quicksand should be just up here, although I've just realised that we walked straight past the Ethernet shard. <laughs> I 
Welcome to the quicksand, friend. I'm a tad busy right now, if you wouldn't mind showing yourself too. Judging by your determined expression, I take it you weren't here for ale. Are you called Elric Fandrell by any chance? Mewen sent word that you'd be reporting for duty. She also made a point of calling you the adventurer of the moment. That ain't no small praise coming from her. But you didn't come all the way here to listen to my prattle. Doubtless you're eager to get started, so let's talk business, shall we? Right, uh, we shall not. Sorry, uh, Momori. We uh, are overrun on the episode by quite a bit, so uh, we're going to call this an episode here. And we'll uh, see you guys next time.